Yeah. Right, guys. Um, what I'm doing is like it's basically a five-part series. No, not five-part. An eight-part series on um, the total care setup, um, heating, feeding, firing out mice. What kind of mice, rats you should get. Um, more or less everything you need to know about boa constrictors. Um, red tail boas. Like. I have three of them. Um, I'm not saying I'm an expert by any means at all, but this is just my advice and what's worked for me over the past uh, couple of years. So, um, basically, uh, this is just an introduction. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll introduce my snakes. Um, in this top tank here is a male. Here is a male salmon boa. Um, he's around one and a half year old. Is a 2012? No, he's not one and a half year old. It's just over a year old, should I say? It's a 2012 hyper or salmon boa, and he's doing really well. Um, and then in this bottom tank here, which I'll just get it out is a normal true red tail boa which is here, he's my big male you can see he's a true red tail as his tail is like more or less blood red um, yeah he's quite big um, he's, he's about two year old so he's ready to breed more or less but I'll get into that uh, stuff later on in video um, yeah I'll put him back get in the woods go in there we go and in this tank over here I have this is my female 100% head sharp albino possible pastel um, female don't know if I said female but I said it again um, so yeah that's her and she's doing well as well I think she's in shed so I won't mess with her that much so yeah Right, um, some basic facts you need to know about um, most snakes actually, not just bow constrictors. Some of the stuff I'm telling you um, is to do with bow constrictors, but if you've seen my videos before, I've had um, milk snakes, I've had king snakes, I've had hog noses, I've had scorpions, I've had geckos, I've had more or less. Well, I've had a lot of reptiles and amphibians basically. <laughs> um, Ball pythons as well, I've had them. Um, but I'm into bowers, so I've got bowers now. Um, but basically, the things I'm going to tell you can. It varies, but it's more or less the same. So, obviously, you need a secure tank, or a vivarium, or a terrarium. So, it needs to be secure so the snake doesn't get out. Um, look, like, as you can see, that one's a bit easy to open, but this one, it's quite hard to open. And I've got like little stop, little white stop things. You've probably seen them on my other videos. Um, same as the bottom tank, which is there. And that one's already got a lock on it because it's by Exoterra, and it's a, it's a decent tank. Um, so yeah, you need a secure tank. Um, you need fresh water every day. You need because the tropical animals. You need heat and therm therm there, thermostats, which um, you can use heat pads, you can use um, ceramic bulbs, uh, stuff like that. I used to use um, like reptile bulbs, but um, I stopped using them because they just blew all the time and with the deal I've got now on my um, ceramic bulbs, um, if it blows within six months I get free ones, so that's quite good. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, 
some facts about the snake. There's um, well, about boas. There's BCCs and BCIs, which is basically a BCC is a true red tail boa, which is this one here in the bottom. Um, it stands for boa constrictor constrictor. That's its um, scientific name. And BCIs are boa constrictor Im imperial, I think. Something like that, don't quote me on it. Um, most snakes, um, they're sexually dimorphic, which means females grow a lot bigger than males. So if you want a big snake like a boa, but want it to keep relatively small, so a small big snake if you get me, um, get a male, which is probably the bottom one is... Well, it's about two. It's 2011, so and it's 2013, so it's two year old more or less. And yeah, he's more or less maxed out now. He's around six foot. I'll show you his skin in the next in the um, following video. What he shed did about two about a week ago. Um, females grow around eight foot to fourteen foot, which fourteen foot is massive for a red tail boa um, so around 9, 10 feet, 8 foot around there that's what you're expecting for a female um, females are um, heavy, bod heavy bodied which basically means they get a lot fatter and thicker than males males tend to weigh around I think it's 3 kg when females if they're big they can get up to 8 kg which is kilograms um, I may make some mistakes in this video, so just bear with me. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in boa constrictors or any other snakes, um, just look at my videos. And if you want to shout out in some of my upcoming videos, um, just message me. And I, yeah, I'll, sh I'll do that for you. Uh, make sure you like, rate and subscribe my videos if you like them or find them informing. So yeah, cheers and... See you on the next video.